didn't think I'd ever see another human being again. Is your name Kenneth? I yeah. How do you know my name? Casey asked me to look for you. He's alive. In the bunker. He wanted to know what happened to you and the rest of the squad. Casey's alive, huh? <laughs> That's good to hear. I didn't give him much chance, honestly. Thought he'd have blown his brains out by now. Or shriveled away to nothing. Guess I underestimated him. If you make it back to him, tell him these few things for me. Tell him he's a good guy. The guilt, it's not his. Tell him to let it all go. What happened at the bunker? He needs to wipe his brain clean. Tell him Kenneth said things right. Killed Trent, Jess, and then Foster. Okay? You need to write it down or something? What do you mean, the guilt? Casey mentioned something horrible happened at the bunker. Is that what you're talking about? Fuck it. I've got nothing to hide. We killed dozens of innocent people. Civilians trying to, to get into the bunker. When all the shit with the dead walking started to go down, we had orders to keep everyone out of the bunker. I, I don't know why. It, it didn't make any sense. But when it got too tense, we, we freaked. We mowed them down. Vietnam-style shit. Casey just stood there. Like a ghost. It, that fuck Foster started screaming at him to open fire with the rest of us. Later, I asked Casey if, if he fired. He, he said that he pulled the trigger because he, he was scared that, that, it, that if he didn't, we, we, we'd all turn on him, add his body to the pile. He said he aimed his gun up in the rafters of the church. I believed him. He begged me not to tell the others. He didn't trust them. But he trusted me. We were friends. Listen, my brain is it's, it's, it's getting foggy. I'm seeing shit. I don't know how many words I got left. End me. Please. I've heard enough, Kenneth. I'll tell Casey we spoke. Tell him everything you wanted him to know. That's mighty nice of you, Uncle Tommy. Before you go to the bowling alley, blow my fucking brains out, yeah? That's the only way to remain human all the way to the end, right? A 12 year old. You there, Casey? I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? I found Kenneth. You did? Is he still alive? No, he's dead. But he told me some interesting things before it was over. Shit. Rest in peace, Kenny. My friend. What did he tell you? He wanted me to tell you something. You want to know what he said? Yes, of course. What did he say? He said you're a good guy. Not to feel guilt about what happened outside the bunker. To let the massacre go. He told me all about it. From his perspective. But I am curious about yours. Well, if he told you what happened, why do you need to hear it from me? 
You know what you need to know, right? And you've told me my friend is dead, so we can move on, yeah? I know it must be hard, Casey, to talk about it. But it's okay. Tell me what happened. Yeah, you're right, tourist. It's not easy for me. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Civilians, right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there, a coward. And now I don't sleep. I, I have a nervous twitch in my right hand that gets more pronounced every day, and the guilt is like a ten-ton weight crushing my chest. Are you satisfied now? Those are just facts, Casey. I already know the facts. What I need to know is your perspective on the whole thing. There's a reason why you can't sleep. You're twitching like a junkie and your chest feels like it's caving in. Okay, quit badgering me, please. I'll talk. Just give me a second to, to gather my thoughts. It's all fucking foggy. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but it's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's, it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she was... she was smiling. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me, like he expected me to have his back. But I did nothing. So he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. Oh, the sounds. A hat. A cross. Man. Sometimes when I'm here lying, trying to sleep, I can actually feel my fingers shaking on the trigger of my rifle. Even though I haven't touched the thing since the day it happened. What do you hear when the sounds come? The sound of terror. Please. The gunfire. My own shouts. The thump of bodies hitting the floor. This, this cacophony will just swell up inside my head when I least expect it. This chaos. But I can still pick out every single fucking sound. I just can't shake it. The feel of the trigger. Did you pull it? Yeah. I didn't want to, but I did. Basic training kicked in. Follow orders, no matter what. But I don't know if I killed anyone. I, I may have. Thing is, I'll, I'll never know. Maybe that's worse than actually knowing for certain that I did. A cross? Like in a church? What's that all about? Yeah. It's fucking strange, tourist. I see it. Real close up. Everything around it is hazy. Bullets chewing it up, splintering the wood. It's from my church back home. The one my mom used to drag me to. You know, but that makes no sense. But it's just my mind fucking with me. Guilt digging in deep, I guess. Fearing judgment. You mentioned a hat. What hat? There was this old man. Shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and skull. And this fucking hat, I swear to God, it's the exact same hat my uncle used to wear. And the bullets drove it into the wall, and, and it, it, it hung there for a second, dripping. And then it flopped onto the floor. The image, I just, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm worried it'll be there forever. And I keep thinking, was it me? Did I shoot those bullets? You never know for sure, Casey. That's exactly right, tourist. And 
I can't fucking deal with that. Listen to me, Casey. Carefully. What happened outside the bunker? It's not your fault. That is clear to me, it was clear to Kenneth. You need to find a way to make it clear to yourself. Yeah, I know. You're right, Torrest. But it's... Uh, it's not easy. Gonna take a lot of fucking work. Hey, maybe when this is all over, I can hire you to be my therapist. I charge 300 bucks an hour. Don't think you can afford that on National Guard money. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Look, tourist, this little chat, it's worn me the fuck out. And I've got rewiring to do to keep from getting electrocuted next time I use this radio. Not that it really fucking matters. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. Without that key that has everyone riled up, this is all a waste of time. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later, I guess. My husband was innocent. I don't give a damn what was on that map. Doesn't prove a thing. Georgia has such a stranglehold on the tower. She could say the sky was green and made of jello, then everybody behind the wall would nod, smile, and get out their spoons. Not me. And not my daughter. I'm going to prove to Ombra that we can rise above it all. That we can remain in truth. Which brings me to a confession, Torst. I didn't tell the full story of how I got the reserve key. Ombra called me out for omitting a critical detail. I am raising the kid right, I guess. To get the key, I had to hurt someone. Real bad. A dear friend. I almost killed her. In the moment, it felt like the right thing to do. No question. But I regained my senses for my daughter's sake. I could see her eyes pleading with me from across the room. Stop, Mommy. This isn't right, they said. I was ashamed. I had succumbed to what the tower had become under George's influence. A breeding ground for betrayal, forcing people to turn against each other to survive. Sad thing is, I'd do it again, in a heartbeat. Not proud of it, but it's true. There is a line with me, and when it's crossed, it does not matter who you are. I will do whatever it takes to defend what I know is right, and protect my daughter. So now, you know exactly who you're dealing with, Taurus. No bullshit. Like before, the drawing will point you to the cash. Beyond the location, the next cache is a mystery to me. No clue what might be in there. All I've heard is that it's quite a haul. May. <laughs> 